Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. And today, it's going to be a good one. Chandler Gilbert Coyotes versus South Mountain Community College. Here today at Chandler Gilbert, 6 o'clock start time. And we are waiting on the coach and umpire meeting to finalize. But in the meantime, Chandler Gilbert last night played South Mountain over at their home turf. and. Final score of seven to six, your Coyotes, they're losing the whole game, but at the top of the sixth inning, they put up four runs and they never looked back and they took the lead. So they picked up a big conference win yesterday over on South Mountain's home turf and they're looking to continue that here today. And my name is Danny Smith. Thank you everybody for tuning in. And today it's a very windy one. So we probably won't have too much of a center field camera. And it's also just me up here. So bear with me on everything here. I'll try and make everything the most enjoyable it can be. So we'll go ahead and get started once first pitch approaches. Thank you for tuning in. So it will be Nick Fontaine doing the starting pitching here for the Coyotes here on this Saturday night under the lights. And so far, Nick this season, he's having a great one with a 2.6 ERA currently through 34 and two thirds innings. So a tremendous season, sophomore season for the big lefty. And he's looking to get his team a win here and a sweep on the board against South Mountain. So here we go, first pitch set to go underway here shortly on this beautiful Saturday night. The first pitch from Nick is going to be high for ball one. So Nick's gonna go ahead and fall to a 2-0 count and up to bat for South Mountain. It's gonna be number eight, Mata. So far this season, as that one is going to just barely get out of play, how to reach for Dante. But as I was saying, so far this season, Mata having a great start with a 260 batting average. And I shouldn't say start as we're approaching the end of the season here, April 1st, just next week. So we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. The 2-0 from Nick is in there for strike two, and we'll go to a 2-2 count.
Fontaine delivers a strike, and Mata is going to hit it over to Coggins in second. And he's going to fire to first for the out. So Nick Fontaine records the first out of the inning. So after the ground out from Mata, it'll be get a number on that shortly here. Be number 11, Terra Nova. First pitch to him is going to be high for ball one. The 1 0 is going to be inside, so we'll go to 2 0 and as I said earlier, it's a windy one today. Just looking up the weather and we got over 30 mile an hour wind gusts right now. So we definitely have all of our cameras up here anchored down with some weights. So hopefully nothing falls over up here. So Nick falls with a 3-0 count. He's gonna deliver a strike to Terra Nova for strike one. And of course we have the big storm supposedly coming in tomorrow on Easter. So we'll see how that holds up. And as Nick deliver that ball low. So Terra Nova will reach first on the walk. It's definitely been an interesting start to the spring so far. Lots, lots and lots of rain cloudy skies and it's definitely out of the ordinary here in Chandler, Arizona, so we're not used to it, so. We're getting through it though and Nick will deliver a first pitch ball outside. Batter is gonna be number 18, Waters. And we got a wild pitch here, and or a pickoff that gets past the first baseman, and Terra Nova is going to reach third on the air. So two bases for Terra Nova. He's going to reach third here with one out. So a tough break. So Waters. Has the runner on third with one out, and he he can give his team an early lead here with a pop fly to the outfield anywhere. And Nick is going to deliver another ball, so we'll go to two and zero. Oh. The two zero oh from Fontaine is in the dirt ball three, but. Great job by Mandina there behind the plate to corral that one and prevent Terra Nova from coming across home to score. So we'll go to 3 0. Another 3 0 count for South Mountain. Three O is hit to deep right field. The wind's carrying it. And Ryder's gonna lay out, but he's not gonna get it. He's gonna get to the wall and Waters is gonna head for third and he'll be in there safely. So the RBI triple from Waters and it gives the South Mountain an early 1-0 lead. And that wind really starting to pick up now and it's blowing out to the outfield, so definitely going to see a lot of those as this one is hit. And it's going to stay in play. And Mandina is just going to drop it. And I don't know if we got that on camera, but that ball just stayed in play. That wind, it looked like it was going to go out, but this wind just pushed that thing right back into play. And it's going to be tough for all the fielders today to 
make those plays for sure. But besides the point, it's a strike, so Nick Fontaine ahead 0-1 now. He's going to deliver an off-speed for ball one. The batter for South Mountain is going to be number 19, Chacon. The 1-1 one -one from Nick is fouled off. And he'll go ahead, 1-2. The one two from Nick is a slider. It's not going to catch the plate. So we'll go even to two and two. Jack Cohn with a big spot. Attack on another run here for his squad. The two two from Nick. The slider and yes, he went around. Strike three. The great pitch by Nick to get the swinging strike. So that'll be the second out of the inning. And next up to the plate, it's gonna number it's gonna be number twenty or number three, apologies. Waslewski. The first pitch from Nick is a fastball and it's gonna catch the zone for strike one and Batter may not ask a question to the umpire about where exactly that was, but besides the point, it'll be a strike, and Nick is going to deliver the ball in the dirt for ball one. Another great job by Mandina to stop that one from getting past him. So we'll go to 1-1, one, one. Nick will deliver a slider. He's going to field it. He's going to fire to first, and it's going to be in time. Great play by Nick to get the third out of the inning, but South Mountain tacks on one early here in the first. We'll see if the Coyotes can get it back. We'll head to the bottom of the first here on the Saturday night. We'll be right back.
So the bottom of the first inning here, set to go underway and doing the pitching for South Mountain today. It's gonna be number six, Nick Miller, the local from Perry High School. He's currently holding on to a 2.9 ERA so far this season, so. So far, strong season from him as he's gonna deliver strike one. Up first for the Coyotes, no surprise. It's gonna be Ben Hashizaki. The Canadian nativ native, and he's gonna take strike two with a slider. So Hashizaki quickly behind 0-2 here. And the 0-2 is a fastball and it's Gonna catch the zone right off the plate and Hosh may not agree, but the Coyotes quickly with one out in the inning and that's gonna bring up Ryder Hancock. So Ryder looking to kickstart this inning for the Coyotes here early and he's gonna take a slider off the plate for ball one. The 1-0 is going to be fouled off by Ryder, and we're even at 1-1. One, one. Another slider from Miller isn't going to be in there, so he's going to fall behind 2-1. Two one is cut on a miss, or fouled off. Apologies by Ryder, and we'll fall to two and two. Ryder hits that one into shallow left field, and left fielder's coming in, and it's going to drop. So Ryder pokes a little single there into. Shallow left field, and he's going to get this inning kick started for the Coyotes here with one out. And up next, it's going to be big, bad Easton Bryant. First pitch to Easton is in there, strike one. So far, Easton Bryant having a great season. That he's going to hit that into right field. It's going to get through. Ryder's going to head to third, and he'll be in there safely. So another single we put on here, and this time it's by Easton Bryant adding to his tremendous season here. So the cleanup batter for the Coyotes, Tate Lewis, and Tate Lewis last night over at South Mountain had a homer to kick, kick start the offense, so he played a big role in the win last night as he's gonna take strike one right down the heart of a plate. And Tate Lewis really starting to heating up here in late March and he hopes he can continue that into April as we head to close out this regular season. He's gonna cut on a miss on the 0-1 fastball, so we'll go to 0-2. As the lights here are just starting to turn on. And the 0-2 is a fastball that had some nasty action, two seam action to it. and. Tate can't hold up on it, so we'll go to two outs. Runners remain at first and third, and 
It's going to be Dante Turgeon here with a big spot. See if he can capitalize. The first pitch from Nick. There's a ball inside, and Eason's going to take second base safely. So another stolen base by Eason Bryant. He's got a lot of those this season. Twenty-five to be exact. So twenty-six after that one. The window to Dante is in the dirt for ball two. So Dante ahead in the count two and zero, oh, and he's got two runners in scoring position now. The off speed from Miller is just going to float high for ball three, and we'll go to 3 0. Dante Turgeon so far batting 289, slugging 491. He's going to swing and foul that one off over into the desert. So that'll bring us to 3 1. Three one from Nick is outside. Ball four, so Dante will take his base. So it's bases loaded here with two outs here in the bottom of the first for the Coyotes. And Trey Mandina will be the batter. Trey Mandina, one of those freshmen, freshman catchers and Coyotes are definitely have a lot of depth on that catching position, so haven't seen too much of Trey Mandina, but in the times that he has been in the game, he's definitely had lots of highlights. As that one's in the dirt, so we'll go to 2-0. And just a few weeks ago, I remember Trey Mandina hit that home run over the batter's eye in center field. And we'll see if he can barrel another one up here, and he's going to swing, swing and miss at that one, so we'll go to two and one. Two one is cut on a miss by Trey, and we'll go to two two. Two outs, base is loaded. Big spot here for both teams. And the 2-2 two -two is in there, strike three. Miller escapes the bases loaded jam with no runs allowed. So we'll go to the top of the second. We'll be right back.
So here we go, bottom of the second. And leading off for South Mountain, it's going to be number 14, Vega. Nick Fontaine set to get his second inning of work underway here. He's going to leave a fastball up for ball one. And in between innings, Nick Fontaine's parents dropped off some a gift package here for me with some snacks and as that one's going to be fouled off but listen we appreciate everybody showing love and giving us some donations up here but you know it's always our goal just to bring this broadcast to you guys wherever you are throughout the world and Very appreciative for everybody as that one is going to be a slider and it's going to catch the zone for strike one. Or strike two, apologies. We'll go to one, two. And another one fouled off by Vega over into the desert. So we'll stay at one, two. And I'm taking a look at this center field camera right now. And let me say it's it's very shaky, so... Listen, if I were to put this up on the screen, it would probably wouldn't be too fun to look at. So we'll keep it on this camera for now as Nick is going to fall to 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2, two -two, another foul ball. This time over to the left side. We'll stay at 2-2. Two -two. And it just hit me. We have... A Nick on Nick matchup here today. Nick Fontaine versus Nicholas Miller. So we got two Nicks on the bump, both lefties as well. So quite a coincidence there. And Nick is going to deliver ball three. So we're even at 3 2. The 3-2 is hit over to the right side. Dante's chasing it, and he's just going to miss it. I think I got to pull my way yet. So another foul ball. We'll stay at 3-2. Good effort by Dante Turgeon and Zane Coggins, the second baseman, to hustle all the way over there. Over off pass. The away dugout. So the long at bat continues. 3 2 to Vega. Is fouled straight back. Vega really putting up a battle here. He's looking to get on base here. and give his team something to work with here with no outs. The 3-2, it's fouled off again, straight back. And that South Mountain dugout just loving this fight and it's a great battle being put up here by Vega. The three two again is swung on a miss. So Nick Fontaine collects the strikeout after a long at bat, but that was a nasty pitch, something something with some run on it. And it got Vegas swinging, so we'll go to one out. And Nick quickly going to deliver strike one. The 
Yo one from Nick, just off the plate. We'll go to one one. And those of you who are wondering where Adam Perry is, he unfortunately cannot make it here today. And we'll miss him for sure. He's probably a better announcer than I am, but I'll try my best to live up to the great Adam Perry as Nick is going to deliver a strike, so we'll go to one, two. Romero, number one, is the batter, and he's going to watch ball two. So the 2-2 two -two from Fontaine is just inside ball three, so another 3-2 count. And the South Mountain squad just putting up great at-bats here early in the game as another one is going to be fouled off. And it's just what you want to do coming, up, coming um, after a loss the previous day. South Mountain just really wants to extend some at-bats and see what they can do, get runners on base, and see what happens. And anytime you have runners on base early, it's, it's always a positive thing, as we saw last inning. The 2-2 from Nick. It's an off speed. It's going to be in the dirt. So we'll go to 3 2. It looks like we had a little bit of confusion on the count here. The scoreboard changed in between pitches. So we'll see South Mountain coach coming to discuss this with the home plate umpire. Seems like Game Changer had that previous pitch as a 2 2 count. So if it was a ball, then we would be at 3 2. So it appears the scoreboard at the field was a ball ahead, but they're going to go ahead and give South Mountain the base, anyways. So the home plate umpire going to give Wadi some clarification and we'll await the next batter here. So after the confusion there, we'll go to a new batter. We're, they're going to go ahead and give the runner his base. And first pitch from Nick is going to be ball one. So Romero on first. And Springmeyer at the dish, number 33. Springmeyer is going to... Take a ball off the plate, so we're behind 2-0 and once again. The 2-0 in the dirt. Ball three. 3-0 three -oh here to Springmeyer. The 3-0 off the plate, and Springermeyer will take his base. So South Mountain with runners at first and second here with one out, but Nick Fontaine looking to get out of it, and we've seen it many times before this season. So 
So Nick Fontaine can quickly get out of this with, of course, a ground ball to set up that double play. First pitch from Nick is ball one and at the plate for southbound it's going to be number two, Brady Lord. Another local from Basha High School. The one to Lord is in the dirt, ball two. So the 2-0 from Nick is going to be high, and Mandina isn't going to be able to handle it, and it's going to get passed, and the runners are going to advance to second and third. So the double play is no longer in order, and things just got a little bit more difficult for Fontaine as Mandina is going to chat real quick with Nick to get things straight as there might have been a little bit of a cross up or a pitch mix up but we remain in a 3-0 count to Lord and Nick is going to deliver a strike And that one's going to catch the inside zone for strike two. So we'll go to full count. Home plate umpire taking a long stare into that dugout, that away dugout. The 3 2. A swung on a miss by Lord. Strike three. Nick Fontaine with the second strike out of the inning. And he collects the second out. As the wind once again picking up here, and I'm sure you guys are hearing it pretty loudly on our field mic and all of our mics around, so we apologize for that. As Nick going to reset. So we'll go back to the top of the lineup for South Mountain. It's going to be Mata, and he's going to take ball one. Nick Fontaine approaching 50 pitches here. The bullpen's starting to get loose. Another one going to be in the dirt for ball two. Runners at second and third. However, there's two outs. Nick Fontaine looking to get out of this. And the 2-0 is fouled off over to the right side. We'll go to 2-1 is hit into shallow center field. Hashizaki's tracking, and he's going to make the play. So Nick Fontaine escapes the inning with no runs. So we'll head to the bottom of the second.
So Blake Tiggis lead it off for the Coyotes and he's got a new walk-up song. The first pitch to Tiggs in there for strike one. Miller's going to leave that one off the plate. We'll go even to 1-1. One one. Takes fouls that one straight back. And he's behind 1-2. Good crowd on hand tonight. Stands are full. And it's a good game to watch. Beautiful weather besides the wind, but that one's going to be hitting the right field. This time the center fielder is going to be able to get there for the out. So the first out of the inning. And BK is the batter. BK, the freshman from Colorado. Another one of those freshmen who are starting to get a little bit more opportunities for the Coyotes, and it's good to see. As BK will not pull back on the bunt, and he's going to hit that one right back up the middle for a base hit. So BK with a one out single in the center field. And that'll bring up Zane Goggins. So Zane Coggins is also going to show bunt, and he's going to foul it back. And we'll go to 01. Zane Coggins so far this season, batting 286, as Miller will take off to first, and BK will be in there safely, but. St. Coggins, another freshman, starting to get some more looks. Now he'll swing at that one for strike two. So Coggins behind 0-2. Miller will deliver the fastball outside. Coggins holds off. We'll go to one, two. BK dancing at first, and Miller will deliver another ball outside. So we're even at two and two. And the 2-2 is a slider, and Coggins will watch it for strike three. So Miller collects the second out of the inning. But we're back to the top of the lineup, Ben Hashizaki. Here with two outs and a runner on, and a runner on first. He's also going to square a bunt, but he'll pull back for ball one. Miller, another check to first. BK's in there safely.
Hosh will leave that one off the plate. 2-0. Hashizaki batting 371. Here with the sophomore bid here, Chandler Gilbert, and he'll take a slider for strike one. And we've mentioned it a lot before, but Hashizaki with 34 stolen bases so far, so he's on on track to do a lot of damage with that specific stat line. And he's gonna go ahead and cut on that one and foul it back. And we're even at two and two. Miller will pick off once again. BK not going anywhere. Miller will deliver a slider and it's popped straight up into the infield and it'll be the first baseman who will take it for the third out. So the Coyotes, once again, not able to do any damage. So we'll head to the top of the third. Nick Fontaine on the bump. We'll be right back. Top of the third underway. And the first pitch from Fontaine gonna be in the dirt for ball one. Doing the hitting. For South Mountain, it's gonna be number 11, Terra Nova. He's gonna watch another ball off the plate for ball two. Fontaine kicks, delivers, and Terra Nova will foul that one off behind the away dugout. The 2 1 is in there, strike two on the outside corner. Terra Nova will foul that one out of play to the right side. We'll stay at 2 2. Looks like we have some equipment issues here, so we'll take a quick pause and we're back to work. 2 2. 
No outs, Terra Nova at the plate. And Terra Nova goes around. So Nick Fontaine with another strikeout. With that nasty splitter or change up perhaps, but either way that thing has some nasty run to it. And it got Terra Nova. So we'll go to one out. Fontaine. Delivers a first pitch strike. Another one in there and it's cut on a miss by the batter. Waters number 18 who had that trip RBI triple earlier over into deep right field that got his team on the board. The 0-2 to Waters is hit to short. BK will fire the first for the out. So quickly, Nick Fontaine with two outs here in this top of the third inning. So after the ground out to short, it'll be number 19. And he's gonna hit that one into center. And Hosh isn't gonna be able to get it. It's gonna roll all the way to the wall and Jack Owen is in with the stand up, stand up double. So Waslewski will take his turn here at the dish. He's got a runner on second with two outs. And he's going to take strike one. Fontaine will deliver a slider that will be in the dirt. Wasilewski won't bite. We'll go to 1-1. The pen for the Coyotes still active, but so far, Nick Fontaine really showing strong inning of work here. As that one's hit, foul over to the right side. That one will be in the dirt for ball two, and we'll go to even. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Run around second base. And Wass Lesby hits that one into the South Mountain dugout, and hopefully everyone's okay, as that one was just a rocket, and hopefully we're all good in there. Looks like we'll take a quick break here as someone might have got struck by that, and that's something you hate to see. So we'll be right back as we'll get things. And what? Looks like, looks like who's ever in there is okay, so we're good to go. We'll play on. The 
The 2-2 from Nick, strike three. And it'll end the inning. Nick Fontaine with a strong top of the third inning. And we'll head to the bottom of the third. Still one to zero. So Ryder Hancock weeded off here to the bottom of the third. First pitch. It's fouled off by Ryder for strike one. Ryder will Follow that one off once again. We'll go to 0 2. The 0 2 is going to be a slider off the plate, and the catcher set up pretty far off the plate on that one. Ryder won't bite. So we'll go to one, two. As we'll take a quick timeout as Miller and the catcher get things sorted. Back to work. One, two still, Ryder Hancock at the dish. So far, one for one, one for one on the day, and he's gonna hit that one in the shallow left field once again, and it's gonna get down. And Ryder thinks about second, but he'll stay at first, so another single from Ryder. He's got two on the day. And that'll bring up Easton. So no outs, Ryder on first base. And it'll be Easton Bryant at the dish. First pitch is gonna be hit. It's a deep left field. And the wind almost pushes that one over the fence, but it just barely stays in play. But a good piece of hitting there by Easton to take that one to the other side. But it'll stay in the yard. So we'll go to one out with Tate Lewis at the dish. Yeah. 
Lewis will foul that one off for strike one. Lewis 0 for 1 on the day. And that one is in the dirt, and Ryder will take second, and he's going to be out. So Ryder attempts to take the base there from pitching the dirt, but he's going to be caught stealing. So that'll be the second out of the inning. 1-1 one, one count to Tate Lewis. And the field umpire will say that Lewis went around on that swing. So 1-2 is the count. Tate Lewis looking to extend this inning. And Miller gets the swinging strike out, strike three. So a quick third inning, no runs, still 1-0. And we'll be right back. Bottom of the third, bottom of the top of the fourth. Apologies, underway here. Under the lights. Here on this gorgeous Saturday night, first pitch from Nick in there. Strike one. is fouled off over into the bullpen for strike two. Looking at the temperature right now, it's a solid 73 degrees currently with, of course, those big wind gusts. So feels a little bit chillier than that. But as the night, go <clears throat> as the night goes on, it'll continue to drop temperature. So. Nick will deliver a ball there, but he's still ahead, one, two. And Nick with the high fastball and he's gonna get the swinging strikeout. So Nick with another strikeout on the day. And it'll be the first out of the inning. So the batter will be number one, Romero. 
He's going to square to bunt. And it'll be out of play. So that one just misses. So we'll go even to one and one. One one fouled out of play for strike two. So Romero quickly behind in the count one two. The one two is an off speed in the dirt. Romero won't bite. The 2-2 two -two swung on and missed. And Nick Fontaine really starting to heat up here with his second strikeout of the inning. for the strikeout. It'll bring up number 33, Springmeyer for South Mountain. And, and he'll take a first pitch ball. And Nick delivers the fastball down the heart of the plate for strike one. Nick Fontaine Really starting to get comfortable there on that mound. As another slider will catch that zone for strike two. Nick Fontaine looking good. The one, two, two outs. It's fouled off by Springmeyer straight back. So we'll stay at one, two. Two is hit to deep left field. Both outfielders are tracking back and it's gone. Over to the deep part of the yard. And Springmeyer with a deep home run to give his squad the 2 0 lead. So it'll go down as a, a solo homer for Springmeyer. And South Mountain takes the 2-0 lead, but Nick Fontaine right back at it. one count, and it's gonna be number two, Brady Lord at the dish, as he'll take another ball. The 2-0 is in there, strike one. Good pitch by Nick. On that outside zone. Fontaine kicks and deals, and it's in there for strike two. Nick Fontaine looking to get out of this with just one run on the board.
And the 2-2 fouled off by Lord. He's staying alive. Bontain delivers the 2-2 and once again, it's fouled off. We'll stay at 2-2. Two two again. It's fouled off, out of play. Brady Lord putting up a fight. And Nick gets a swinging strike out. And he escapes the inning with just a solo homer, but besides that, it's a great inning of work by Nick. And we'll head to the bottom of the fourth as the Coyotes hope to get some runs back. We'll be right back. Bottom of the fourth inning, Dante Turgeon will lead it off. And they'll hold off on the outside fastball, but it'll catch the zone for strike one. And Dante Turgeon, another one of those Coyotes who have recently changed their walk-up songs. And as Dante lifts that one to deep center field, center fielder's tracking back and it's gone. Dante Turgeon with the deep home run to straightaway center field. And Dante Turgeon puts the Coyotes on the board with an exclamation mark. That one was deep to center field, deepest part of the yard. And we'll put the Coyotes on the board. So a great way to lead off the inning. As next up, Trey Lewis, or Trey Mandina, apologies. We'll have his go at it. And he'll swing at the outside pitch there and we'll go to 1-1. One, one. Mandina fouls that one straight back. And he's behind 1-2.
And Mandina will watch the slider down the heart of the plate for strike three. So Miller comes right back at the Coyotes with the strikeout and collects the first out of the inning. As it'll bring up Blake Tiggs. And he's gonna score a bunt. And it's gonna be fair, but the third baseman makes a tremendous barehanded play to get the out. And what a play that was. So Brian Kennedy, Brian Kenny will step up to the plate here with two outs. So far, BK one for one, but he's gonna take a strike. One to Kenny is in there. Strike two. BK looking to keep this inning alive. And that one, a little bit off the plate. We'll go to one, two. delivers the nasty off-speed pitch, but BK holds off. We'll go to even at two and two, two outs. And Kenny doing a great job staying alive, fouling that one off. And BK stays at two, two. Okay, hammers that one to second. Second baseman fires the first, no problem, but not before Dante Turgeon puts the Coyotes on the board with a deep home run to center field. And we'll be right back as the Coyotes take the field. Back to work we go, first pitch is hit to short. And the runner will be out. Great play by BK to get the first out of the inning and quickly. Nick Fontaine has one out.
Nick fires back with the off-speed pitch that stays outside the batter. Number 11, Terranova. And Terranova is going to lift that one to deep center field. Hosh is tracking back, and it's gone. Terranova with the deep drive to center field. And it gives South Mountain the 3-1 lead. Here in the top of the fifth. And that one almost identically in the same spot as where Dante Turgeon hit his just a few minutes ago. So South Mountain with their second home run of the day. And they have a two run lead. The batter, number 18, Waters. And he's ahead, 2-0. Fontaine delivers the pitch outside. We'll go 3-0. The 3-0 outside and Waters will go ahead and take first base. So number 19, Chacon, will be the batter. And the first pitch to him is a slider in the dirt for ball one. with Waters on first base with one out. And South Mountain can definitely do some more damage here in the top of the fifth. Another slider and Chacon won't bite. So we'll go to 2-0. That one is hit to the left side. It's gonna stay in play. And Tiggs is gonna make the make the catch in foul territory. And a great play by Tiggs to not give up on that one. And it'll be the second out of the inning. That'll bring up number three, Wozlewski. For South Mountain. And they'll take first pitch, but field umpire will say that he did not go around, so go to ball one. So far on the day, Wozlewski 0 for 2 as he hits that one to deep center field. Hosh is tracking back. And he's got it at the wall. Hashizaki makes the play up against the wall. And he records the third out of the inning, but not before South Mountain tacks on another run in the lead. It's now three to one. We'll be right back as the Coyotes look to answer back.
Bottom of the fifth. And leading it off, it'll be Coggins, and he'll take the first pitch ball. And Miller comes right back with the fastball outside for strike one. The off speed from Miller. Doesn't catch the zone, says the home plate umpire, and we'll go to 2 1. So Coggins will swing and miss. At the 2-1, so we'll go to 2-2. Two -two. And Miller delivers a strike on the outside corner. And it catches Coggins looking. So Miller gets the first out via the strikeout. And Hashizaki will step up to the plate here with one out. Strike one from Nicholas Miller. With a strong showing so far. Only one run allowed so far through four and third innings. As he'll leave that one off the plate for ball one. Hashizaki hits that one to second. Second Mason's going to have to hurry. And it is in time to retire Hashizaki for the second out. So quickly, Nicholas Miller making some quick work of this inning. He's got two outs already. So Ryder Hancock will be the batter with two outs. First pitch to him is an off speed that will stay in the dirt. And Hancock will take another ball in the dirt. We'll go to 2 0. Ryder Hancock, the sophomore from Canada. And he's going to take another ball. He's ahead 3 0. And that one does just catch that inside corner, says the home plate umpire. So. The count now three and one. And Ryder will leave that one off the plate for ball four. And so far, Ryder having a great night. Two singles and a walk. He's really giving his team a chance here tonight. So Ryder Hancock will stay on first with two outs and it'll bring up Easton Bryant with a, with a big spot. Miller kicks and deals the slider and Bryant is gonna hit it to shallow right field and it's down. And Ryder Hancock will make it to third and he'll hold off. So Easton Bryant with a little poke into shallow right field. And that right fielder was playing very deep. 
up near the warning track, so it's hard for him to get to that ball, but that'll put runners at first and third here with two outs. It'll be Tate Lewis. Of course, Tate Lewis with the big bomb yesterday. We'll see if he can do it again. And he'll watch strike one as he may not have agreed with that one, but we'll go to a one. That one stays in the dirt. And the catcher, Springmeyer, does a great job of corralling that one. Miller will check to first, and Bryant will be safe. One-one count still. Tate Lewis with a big spot, and he hits that one to the right side, and the right fielder will be under it for the third out, and Miller escapes the inning with no runs. And South Mountain hanging on to that 3-1 lead. Top of the sixth, underway, and Fontaine starts it off with the ball high for ball one. And that one just barely misses the strike zone, says the umpire will go to 2-0. Rio now to Carlos Vega. And the 3 0 stays low, so Vega with the leadoff walk.
So Romero will start off the at bat by showing bunt and he'll foul it off for strike one. Fontaine kicks and deals, and the slider will stay outside. And we'll go to 1 1. So far today, Romero making an impact, and he'll take another ball outside. Romero hits that one to deep right field. Ryder has some trouble with it, but he'll get under it the last second to record the out. And I'm sure that wind is just making everything just a pinch more difficult for all the fielders. As the night goes on, it's starting to get more and more chilly and more and more, more and more windy it feels like. It's dropped to 70 degrees. The wind's still howling strong. And the first pitch is in there. For strike one and the batter is number three, Springmeyer. Springmeyer will take a ball and Romero will go ahead and stay at first. He won't advance. That one is hit over to Tiggs at third, but it'll stay foul. So Springmeyer quickly behind one two. As Game Changer is reading that Nick Fontaine currently at over 110 pitches, so could potentially be it for him as that one gets past Mandina and Romero will take second base uncontested. So we're even at two and two, runner on second with one out. And Springmeyer. Looking to get that runner in from second. Nick checks the runner and he delivers the slider that stays low and we'll go to full 3-2. Fontaine kicks and deals and it's a fastball outside and Springmeyer records the walk and Coach Watson gonna go ahead and make the change. So Nick Fontaine, not the ideal start, but still a solid day of work with only three runs allowed. Two of them being home runs that, you know, you never know could have, if it weren't so windy, may have ended differently, but besides the point, Nick Fontaine with a solid day on the bump as he's greeted with high fives all around. 
So we'll go ahead and take a break as the Coyotes make the pitching change. So taking over the pitching duties, it's going to be number one, Anthony Lucero. And so far this season, as Lucero delivers the first pitch ball, Lucero with the 1.74 ERA through 10 innings, through 10 innings pitch. As get a quick timeout here. We're back to work. So Lucero. Fires the fastball in there, strike one. That one is hit to right field. Riders under it. The runner on second is going to fake a tag and he'll stay at second. So Lucero records a second out. And the runner, the runners, apologies, plural, first and second will hold off and stay at their bases. Lucero right back to work with the first pitch strike. We number eight, Mata at the dish, top of the lineup, and it'll take ball one. Lucero looking to escape this inning with no runs. He kicks and deals, and it'll be a slider in the dirt, but once again, Mandina being a wall back there and both runners will stay where they are. Go to 2-1. Lucero delivers a strike, and it's fouled off once again into the desert. So we'll go even to two and two. The 
2 2 from Lucero on the way. And it's in there. Strike three. Lucero gets out of the inning with the pop fly to right. And the strikeout looking. So we'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Coyotes still trailing three to one. Back to work we go. Dante Turgeon leads it off, and we all know what happened last time he let off the inning. Get that deep drive to center field to put the Yotes on the board. And he'll foul that one back. And we'll go to a 1-1 count. Dante Turgeon. Looking to start things off. He'll take the fastball high for ball two. And the slider from Miller stays high once again. So Dante's ahead, 3-1. Three one from Dante is fouled off to the right side. And we'll go to three two. Miller delivers the fastball outside, and Dante records the leadoff walk. I'll bring up Trey Mandina. Number 14, the catcher, doing the catching tonight for the Coyotes. The freshman from Nebraska. First pitch, he's going to square to bunt, and he's going to pull back for ball one. So far today, Trey, Trey Mandina 0 for 2. But he can change that. One swing in the bat. And Dante's going to take off for second base. And he'll be in there with the stolen base. Dante Turgeon. Safe at second. 
So Trey Mandina. Can score Dante. And make this a one run ball game. The one one is fouled off straight back by Mandina. And we'll go to one two. Nick Miller still on the bump with only 89 pitches. Game changer is reading, so. Definitely has more in the tank here. As a slider from him slips and it'll stay outside, so. Trey Mandina with a 2-2 count and Dante Turgeon on second base. Miller fires the fastball and Mandina won't be able to catch up to it. So Miller records the first out via the strikeout. That'll bring up Blake Tiggs. Check to second. Dante will get in there. So far, Tiggs over two in the day. And he'll foul that one straight back. And quickly. He's behind in the count. Blake Tiggs playing third base today for the Coyotes. Little switch around and something he's not used to, perhaps, but so far nothing to worry about as Tiggs, as we all know, is a great defender over there. And as we'll take that one for a ball, so we'll go to 1-1 one, one and it, we'll go ahead and foul that one. Straight back once again, we'll go to one, two. Nick Miller with the one, two count, he's ahead on Tiggs and he's gonna pick to second base and Dante will be in there. So Nick Miller making it a priority to keep Dante close over there at second base. And Tiggs hammers that one into left field and it's gonna get down. Dante Turgeon's rounding third. He's gonna be in there to score. And Tiggs will take second base with great base running. And Blake Tiggs puts the Coyotes on the board and they're down one. Thanks to the RBI double into left field as he extends it to a double. So, so still one out and Tiggs trades places with Dante and it'll bring up BK. Brian Kenny, one for two on the day with a single earlier. And he hits that one to right field. Right fielder striking back and he's gonna make the catch. And Tiggs will tag up and he'll be in there third base. So Brian Kenny moves the runner over to third with a productive at bat. And that'll bring up number four, Zane Coggins. 
as Coach Campbell will have a quick chat with Coggins. Big spot here for the freshman. He can tie this ball game up. As we get a signal from the home plate umpire there, but we don't keep track of any scores up here, so we appreciate it anyways, but here we go. Zane Coggins will take the ball off the plate for ball one. Nick Miller approaching 95 pitches, approaching 100, so he's getting up there, and Coggins will swing and miss at that one. We'll go to 1-1. One, one. The bullpen for South Mountain up and moving. The 1-1 one, one from Miller is outside, ball two. The 2-1 There's a fastball and it's swung on a miss by Coggins. And we'll go even at two and two, two outs. Blake Tiggs on third base. And Coggins stays alive with the foul ball over into the desert. Both benches getting loud. Here we go, 2-2. Two, two. It's upstairs, ball three. On deck, it's Ben Hashizaki, top of the lineup for the Coyotes. 3-2 count, two outs. Three, two, swung on a missed. Nick Miller escapes the bottom of the six with just that one run across the board, but the Coyotes inch back. They're only down one. And Lucero will look to continue. The pitching duties will be right back. Top of the seventh, underway in Lucero. Ahead 0-1. The fastball from Lucero stays up. So 
So we're through six innings here on the Saturday night. And it's been a good one. It's been a tight one. 3-2 ball game. We've seen multiple home runs as that one has hit the shortstop. BK makes a play for the first out of the inning. And as I was saying, we've seen a few home runs already with this win, but I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like this wind is slowly starting to die down, but we'll see for that matter. But besides the point, Lucero quickly with one out in the inning. As Waters swings on the nasty pitch from Lucero. Fastball from Lucero is just inside, says home plate umpire, ball one. And the slider from Lucero catches that outside zone and we'll go to one, two. Lucero kicks and deals. And it's lifted to shallow left field. BK's ranging back. And he'll make the play for out number two. Lucero making quick work of this inning. Coyote's bullpen up and moving as we're approaching the end of this ball game. Lucero stop, starts off the at bat to Chacon with the ball. He comes right back with the fastball down the heart of the plate for strike one. One one is fouled straight back over my head and we'll go to one two. One two count, two outs. Lucero looking to put this inning away. And he delivers the fastball just high. Good spot from Lucero, but We'll go to an even count at two and two. And the two two just misses. Some good location being put up here by Lucero. But now he's got a three two count. He's got to give Chuck Cohen something to hit here. The three two stays high for ball four. So Chacon will take his base. That'll bring up Waslewski. First pitch to him is hit right to Easton Bryant. And that'll be the third out of the inning. So Lucero with another strong inning of work as he brings his Coyotes into the dugout to swing the sticks once again. We'll be right back.
Bottom of the seventh. Pierce set to start and Ben Hashizaki will lead it off. And we're going to go ahead and try the center field camera here this inning. And if at any point it starts to get a little too windy, I'm, I'll go ahead and change it back. But for now, we're going to leave it here. Ben Hashizaki watches strike one. And Hosh hammers that one to shortstop. The shortstop bobbles it. And Hosh is in there. It gets past the first baseman, but, and it's in the dugout, so he's gonna get second base automatically. So Hajizaki reaches on the air. We'll see how it's scored. But either way, he's on second base with no outs. And it's Ryder's turn. Ryder with a strong day so far. See if he can continue it here. First pitch is foul is fouled straight up and it's gonna s oh my and and this is gonna be interesting as the catcher bobbled the ball but Somehow the pitcher, Melinda, was able to pick it up as it bounced off of the catcher, and it appears as he might have caught it before it touched the ground. We'll see what the umpires have to say about it. And if they change this call, this, wow. So, Wadi's gonna go get an explanation, but you never, you don't see that every day for sure. That was quite the play for sure. So after that, Easton Bryant will step up to the plate and David Galindo is the pitcher for South Mountain coming in to relieve Nicholas Miller who had a strong six innings of work in Galindo with a 2.74 ERA through 42 innings. So definitely one of their top guys they use out of that bullpen. Easton Bryant behind 0-1. He's gonna watch a ball in the dirt to even the count. One one stays high for ball two. Easton Bryant ahead two and one, and he's going to leave that one off the plate for ball three. Easton Bryant is now ahead three and one. He's got Hashizaki waiting for him on second with one out. The Coyotes dug out making some noise. Easton Bryant takes a big hack at the 3-1 pitch, but he comes up empty. And we'll go to full 3-2. and two. Big spot. Easton Bryant one out. Full count. Lindo deals, and Easton comes up empty again. And he'll go down with the strikeout. So we'll go to two outs. 
So Tate Lewis will step up to the dish. First pitch is in the dirt, and Springmeyer showing off the athleticism behind the dish there. As anything that's in the dirt has the risk of moving Hashizaki to third, as we all know his, his speed is. As Tate will foul that one off to the left side, we'll go to 1-1. One, one. Tate Lewis to DH over three on the day. And he'll swing on and foul that one off. Straight back. So he's behind one, two. Galindo looking to get out of this. The one, two on the way. And Galindo's gonna pick off to second, but Hosh will be safe. And Galindo gets another swinging strikeout to end the inning. And he poses a strong inning of work. And that'll bring us to the top of the eighth. The Coyotes taking the field, we'll be right back. Back to work we go. Lucero still on the bump. And first pitch, it's gonna be hit to BK. He'll make the play, he'll fire to first. But Dante won't be able to pick it. So, Vega will reach first on the first pitch. A throwing error. So quickly, South Mountain with the runner on first.
Romero at the plate, 0 for 2 on the day so far, and Lucero will check the runner at first. First pitch to Romero on the way, and he's going to square to bunt, but he's going to pull back. Pivotal top of the eighth inning here for the Coyotes. They want to keep the score right where it's at. Once again, Lucero going to check the runner at first. The 2-2 two -two from Lucero is into left field. So Romero with the single on the left, and that'll put two runners on with no outs for South Mountain. Here we go ahead and get a pinch runner here, number 34. We'll go ahead and pull that up. Number 34, Zach Chapman. We'll pinch run for Carlos Vega at second base. And we're going to go ahead and get a pitching change here. So Lucero's night is done, but a strong few innings of work that he had. He kept the score right where it's at and manageable for the Coyotes. So he'll be met with some my fives in the dugout, and we'll go, go ahead and put Aiden Shoemaker into the game. We'll be right back as he gets warmed up. Back to work we go, Aiden Shoemaker on the bump. The sidewinder and he'll deliver a first pitch ball. And the wind is starting to pick up, so we'll go ahead and switch camera angles here for the time being. Aiden Shoemaker, one of the key guys that Wadi goes to out of the bullpen. And that's gonna be Bunted over to the left side and nobody's gonna be able to get it. So a successful bunt. 
And the bases are now loaded with no outs. So that'll bring out Spring Springmeyer, the catcher. And he'll take strike one on the outside half of the plate. Shuey delivers the off speed in the dirt. Springmeyer doesn't bite, or apologies. Not Springmeyer. Be number 12, Rosel, Roselle. He's gonna hit that one, and it's gonna get over Coggins' head. It's into right field, two runners are gonna come in to score. So Rosel with the two run RBI single, and it puts South Mountain ahead, five to two. So still no outs in the inning. And South Mountain has already tacked on two runs in this pivotal eighth inning here if the Coyotes want to make a stand here. Of course, still a little bit of game to be played. Go back to the top of the lineup. Mata will square, square to Blunt and will be in there for strike one. Bullpen for the Coyotes. Up and moving, Jace Banky getting warmed up. Shoemaker ahead 0 and 1 to Mata. Shuey delivers a slider. And it'll be in there for strike two. 0 2 count. The 0-2 on the way from Shuey. is swung on and missed. Mata goes down swinging. And Shuey records the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Terra Nova, number 11. One for three on the day so far. Shuey right back at it with the slider on the outside half of the plate. He's ahead 0-1. The fastball stays high. Runners at first and second still, one out. The slider from Shuey, just outside, ball two. Shuey delivers another off speed that stays low. He's behind three and one. The wind. Really starting to pick up once again. 
blowing out towards the outfield. That one's hit to short, and BK with a diving play, but he's not going to be able to get it. Runner from second's coming in to score. And South Mountain tacks on another run here in the top of the eighth. So South Mountain takes the 6-2 lead. And Waters, number 18, will step up to the dish. Slider from Shuey in there, strike one. So far, Waters on the day, one for three. And South Mountain can still tack on some more runs. As they've already put up three so far in this inning. The 0 1 from Shuey stays outside. Another slider will go to 1 1. That one's hitting the right field and it's going to get down. Both runners will come in to score. Waters will take the turn and he'll stay at second. So two runs come across thanks to the double into right field by Waters. And South Mountain takes the 8-2 lead and we're gonna go ahead and get another pitching change here. So we'll be right back as Jace Banky gets warmed up. So Jace Banky will relieve Aiden Shoemaker and will take over the pitching duties. First pitch is hit over to second base and Coggins is gonna bobble it and it's gonna get into right field. And another run will come across. And South Mountain takes a 9-2 lead. So a big top of the eighth inning, and it's still going one out still, and so far six runs have come across the score. That one's in the dirt. And the runner on first will take second base uncontested. So 
So Chase Banky with some work to do here. We'll go to 2 0 in the batter for South Mountain. It's going to be number three, Waslewski. Two O's in the dirt, ball three. The three O on the way from Jace, it's in there for strike one. So far in the day, Waslewski 0 for four. Runner on second, gonna take third with no throw. So Jack Owen will steal third and Wasleski will take first on the walk. As this eighth inning just keeps on going. New batter for South Mountain, substitute number 34, Chapman, will be the pinch hitter, and he's going to go take the first pitch for a ball. He's ahead 1-0. Banky fires the fastball in there for strike one. Another one misses inside. We'll go to 2 1. Binky kicks and deals. He leaves a pitch in the dirt, so we'll go to 3 1. Chapman ahead 3 1. Runners, first and third. Runner at first is going to take off, and it's going to get through in the center. He's rounding second. He'll get in the third, and another run comes across the score. And it is now a 10 to 2 lead. So Romero steps into the dish. The same situation. Runners at first and third, one out. Still. Slider from Banky. Doesn't catch the zone. Stays low. Ball one. Another one stays low for Banky. We'll go 2 0.
3-0 on the way. And it's hit in the right field, but Ryder won't be able to make it there in time, but a great hustle by him. Score to three one. Another one fouled off and we'll move to a full count. Three two. Romero at the dish. The 3 2 on the way. And it's fouled off once again. We'll stay here at 3 2. Do the 3 2 again, and this time it's low for ball four. So bases loaded once again for South Mountain. Here with one out. We'll bring up number 33, Springmeyer. First pitch in there, strike one. Another one catches the zone, this time a slider for strike two. And Springmeyer is quickly behind 0-2. Pankey fires a fastball outside. Springmeyer won't bite. One, two. This one's lifted straight away. Center field. Oshizaki tracking in. And he'll make the catch. Play at the plate. And the throw's offline, so runner from third comes in to score as it's now 11 to 2, South Mountain. Eight runs have come across so far in this inning. As the first pitch is in there for strike one. The 0 1 gets away from Mandina, and both runners will advance the second and third. Bullpen up and moving once again for the Coyotes. The Jays looking to get out of this one. He'll fire a fastball that'll stay high for ball two. Batters number five, Miranda. Another. Pinch hitter here in this top of the eighth inning. He'll watch another ball low for 3 1. The 
The three one from Jace is a slider that'll catch the zone. Strike two. Full count, two outs. Chase Bakey looking to put an end to this one. And Miranda swings and misses that one, and Jace, make, Jace Bakey gets a swing strikeout after a long eighth inning, so go to the bottom of the inning. The Coyotes looking to tack on some more runs. Bottom of the eighth underway, first pitch fouled off by Dante Turgeon. Once again, Dante Turgeon leading off another inning. As I believe this is the third time he's leading off an inning. That one stays high and inside. Dante gets out of the way, we'll go to 1-1. One one is in there, strike two. Dante behind one two. The one two on the way. And it's a nasty slider. And Dante can't hold up. So Galindo records the swing strikeout and up next. We'll get a pinch hitter for the Coyotes. It's gonna be number 18, Amir McGee. Amir McGee, the sophomore outfielder. Looking to get his crack here at this one. Bottom of the eighth inning, 11 to two and in the top of the eighth, South Mountain tacked on eight runs to add to their once 3-2 lead. So Coyotes have a long way to go. Amir watches the first pitch for a ball. The 1-0 from Galindo is in there. Cut on a miss by Amir. Strike one. One one stays low, and then Amir's ahead two one. Galindo kicks and deals, and it's fouled off by Amir, and we'll go to even two and two. The two two on the way. And it's hit to straightaway center. 
And it's going to stay in the infield. Apologies in the shortstop. I'll range over and collect the second out of the inning. So another pinch hitter here for the Coyotes is going to be number 28, David Bull. The freshman third baseman. First pitch to Bull. There's a slider that will stay inside for ball one. David Bull swings and hits that one right back up the middle. Galindo makes a great play, and he'll just toss it over to first with third out. We'll head to the top of the ninth. We'll be right back. Top of the ninth. It was underway in the first pitch. It's hit to straightaway center. And Oshizaki is under it for the first out. Taking over, doing the pitching for the Coyotes. It's number eight, Danny Noli. The hard throwing sophomore. And Noli's sample size, a little bit small, so. That's a little misleading, but besides the fact, Noli fires. First pitch is going to stay high for ball one. Noli fires a fastball in there for strike one. The slider from Noli doesn't catch the zone, says the home plate umpire. So Dante almost jumps over the fence to make that play, but he doesn't, but 
Danny Noli actually has a 1.6 ERA through five innings of work. So I think I read the, long, the wrong stat line for somebody else. But besides the fact, Danny Noli with a strong five innings of work so far this year with a pretty low ERA. So see what he does here. He's got a 3-2 count with one out. And that one is hit to deep left field. And it's gone. Terra Nova with the deep drive into left field, the solo home run. And tacks on another one for South Mountain. So South Mountain takes a 10 run lead thanks to the deep home run by Terra Nova in the left center field. That'll bring up number 18 Waters. First pitch in there, strike one. That one gets away from Tate Lewis, who relieves Trey Mandina of his catching duties for the day. And that one is hit into right center field. And it's going to get down to the wall. Waters is rounding second. He's going to go to third. Play at third. And he's going to be in there. Throw's going to get away, but Nolly's there. So Waters with the triple, with a one out triple. So Noli will hit Chacon, hit by pitch. So put runners at first and third with one out. Waslewski takes his turn at the dish and he'll watch a fastball right down the middle for strike one. A one from Danny on the way, it's a slider outside. Delivers the fastball and Tate Lewis can't handle it. It's out of reach and the 13th run will come into score. one on the way from Noli and it's hit into left field. Easton Bryant's under it to make the catch. 
And Easton hauls in the second out. Up next, going to be number 34, Chapman. Pinched it earlier in this ball game. First pitch of Chapman is inside, ball one. Go to two one. Two one count, two outs. Chapman at the plate. Two one stays high. We'll go to three one. That one is hit and it's gonna get through into left field. Runner at second is gonna take the turn, the plate at the plate, and he's in there. So Chapman with the RBI single and he'll take second on the play. So that'll give South Mountain the 12, the 12 run lead. New batter for South Mountain is going to be number 27, Jones. And Danny delivers first pitch ball to Jones. The 1-0 catches the outside corner for strike one. Jones will follow that one into the desert and we'll go to one, two. The one, two on the way. And it's a slider and home plate umpire doesn't like it. We'll go to 2-2. Two -two. And the 2-2, two -two, a little bit of a makeup call there. So that'll be the third out. We'll head to the bottom of the night. Last chance for the Coyotes.
Last chance for the Coyotes. BK will start it off. First pitch was low for ball one. New pitcher for Southbound. It's going to be number 15. Salas. Another one stays low. We'll go to 2 0. DK ahead early, 2 0. Another one stays low for ball three. Rio to BK's in the dirt. First runner reaches. BK reaches first and coming at coming up next it's gonna be another pinch hitter, number three, Keegan Baugh. Keegan Baugh, the freshman infielder. Getting some at bats here. First pitch to him. He's going to be high for ball one. It's the wind once again starting to ease down a little bit so I can actually use the center field camera. Bob will cut on and miss that one. We'll go to 1-1. One one. Salas kicks and deals, and there's another fastball that stays low. So Keegan Baugh is ahead two and one. The two one swung on a miss by Keegan Baugh. And we'll go to even at two and two. Salas looking to put Baugh away. That one stays high, we'll go full count. Another one in the dirt and another walk, so. Coyotes, first two batters reach on walks. And next up, it'll be number, number seven, Luke Doris. Luke Doris, the sophomore outfielder, number seven. Looking to get some hacks in. First pitch to Luke is swung on a miss, strike one. That one gets away from Salas and both runners will advance. Runners are second and third for Luke Doris. Here in the spot of the ninth inning. And ladies and gentlemen who are still with us, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your viewership and although this one has been a little bit one-sided but Coyote's looking to move on and move past this one. Still a lot of season to be played. Well,
only about three, four weeks left. So get down to the end of it, but definitely some more games that can be turned into W's for this Coyote squad and they're gonna need them heading into the playoffs. So Luke Doris will take first on the walk. So Salas walks all three batters. And up next for the Coyotes, another pinch hitter, number 21, Jackson Reed. He's gonna swing at the first pitch and foul it off for strike one. Jackson Reed with an even count at one and one. The pitch is in there for strike two. Salas ahead one and two on Jackson Reed. Another freshman. Reed will foul that one straight back and will stay at one and two. One, two on the way, and it stays out for ball two. And Salas retires Jackson Reed with the swinging strikeout. Up next, Easton Bryant. Big, bad, Easton Bryant. He's been somewhat quiet tonight, but this season has been a monstrous one for him. Putting up a great sophomore bid here at Chandler Gilbert and there's no doubt this kid's going places. So Easton Bryant ahead 1-0. The 1-0 to him is in the dirt for ball two. And Easton. Hammers that one to deep right field. If it's fair, it's gone. And it is. Easton Bryant with the grand slam to deep right field. And it makes it a 14 to six ball game. Easton Bryant with the deep drive into right field. And that one was a towering home run. So obviously not a home run that he may not be excited about due to the score, but still, besides the fact, it's still a grand slam. So Easton, Easton Bryant with the big Big drive, and that'll bring up Tate Lewis. One out here. Coyote still down 14 to 6. Lewis will take the 2-0 pitch outside for strike one. The 
The 2-1 is swung on a miss by Tate Lewis. And he's going to follow 2-2. Two and two. That one's going to catch Lewis. And it'll put on another runner. And it looks like we will get a pitching change. So we will be right back as South Mountain warms up a new pitcher. Back to work we go, doing the pitching for South Mountain. It's going to be number 21, Mazinter. First pitch by him is in the dirt for ball one. Dante Turgeon at the plate, who earlier had that monster home run in the center field. He's going to take that one low for ball two. Mazinter checks the runner at first. Full kick and deal. No bean there for strike one. Two one from Mazinter on the way, and it's a slider, but Dante's going to hold up. So Dante ahead in the count, three and one. One out. Tate Lewis on first base. And Dante hammers that one into left field. It's going to get through. Good swing by Dante, with, and it'll be recorded. He'll be credited with the single. Up next for the Coyotes, it's going to be DJ Barrett, another pinch hitter, number 31.
DJ Barrett. Another one of those guys who doesn't get too much opportunities at the plate, but when he does, he doesn't disappoint. So DJ Barrett ahead in the count, 1-0. One zero is cut on a miss. Go to one one. As Inter looks the runner back at second, he kicks and deals. And it's a slider and DJ Barrett comes up empty. So we'll go to one two. One, two count, one out. Runners at first and second. The one, two from Mazinter on the way. And it's hit to short. He's going to fire to second. And he'll fire to f f and he won't be able to pick it. So almost a double play, and Tate Lewis will come across the score. And attacks on another one for the Coyotes. This is now 14-7. So up next is going to be David Bull. David Bull with two outs here. He's going to foul that one straight back, strike one. Those inter deals, a slider that's going to stay high for ball two. Our ball one, apologies. We'll go to one one. That one's in there for strike two. Coyotes down to their last strike. And Mazinter deals a fastball upstairs and he'll get bull swinging and that'll do it. South Mountain puts up eight runs in the top of the eighth and they never look back. They take the dominating 14 to seven victory, but that does not take away from the tremendous outing that Nick Fontaine had for the Coyotes. The starting pitcher only allowed three runs through Six innings of work, so Nick Fontaine definitely shouldn't be forgotten about despite the end result of this game. But besides the fact, that'll do it for today. Chandler Gilbert will be back in action next week for another long week of conference play. They will play on Tuesday against Yavapai, Yavapai making the trip down from Prescott, Arizona. And that'll be it actually for next week. So only games on Tuesday next week, and a little bit of a break. And then after that, the conference play mad madness continues. So that'll do it for me. Thank you for joining us here on the Saturday night. My name's Danny Smith. Have a good night.